So here comes Aaron Rodgers. Jaws, give me your kind of grade on Aaron Rodgers as we are now seven eighths through this season. You know, it's been a B plus as far as his performance. Certainly you can find some things wrong. His inability late in games to take over games and guide his team to victory. But overall, the body of his work this season has been very good when you consider the circumstances he had to take the position at. There's no Brandon Jackson for the Packers tonight, so most of the running will be done by Ryan Grant. And first one's a toss, and it's caught by Greg Jennings. Doing it in front of Corey Graham, a gain of about seven yards, and the pushing and shoving begins. You'll see a lot of that tonight. After the five-yard flag, second and seven, and Grant will run for about three yards. Lance Briggs and Mike Brown. On the tackle, Lance Briggs going to the Pro Bowl. Brown, the captain back there at his uh, strong safety spot. Pressure from the Bears. Rodgers throw complete for the first down. It's Driver does so much of his work in between the numbers, shy of midfield, and the game's first down. Mike, you nailed it. You talk about Donald Driver. He loves to work in that five-yard area between the numbers. That's usually where guys get beat up pretty good, but Donald Driver is tough. Here, the quick release from Aaron Rodgers gets up on his toes to throw over the line, puts the ball right on the numbers of Donald Driver. Weather like this, you want to have accurate throws. For the midfield stripe, Ryan Grant to the left. John Kuhn leading the way with the block gains just a couple of yards. Brown starting the defense, Erlacher finishing. Donald Lee, the motion man, a second and eight throw to Jennings on that edge with Corey Graham. And you could see on that play how tentative the footing is. Outside the numbers is very difficult for the players to get any footing. Yeah, Mike, I was actually down in the field about an hour ago, and, and the middle of the field is not very good either, but really on the edges, <laughs> um, it is frozen. I think corners are going to have to be very, very careful about driving routes because one little slip, a wide receiver is going to run right by him for a big play. Needing to get to the 40 for a first down. The Bears bring four. Pressure from Tommy Harris. The throw by Rodgers is just out of bounds. And it will be fourth down. The Bears and Kyle Orton taking over at their own 15. First play to the air for Greg Olson. The terrific tight end. Second on the Bears in receptions. He gains a half dozen in front of Aaron Rouse. That's really what the Bears are about, the short passing game. In fact, in that first matchup against the Packers, which the, the Bears were crushed, 21 times Greg Olson lined up, split out as a wide receiver. They like to get him the ball. He can also go deep with double move routes. Since that ankle injury you see talked about at the bottom of the screen, Orton has not been as productive. It is his second season as the Bears starting quarterback with two seasons on the bench in between. Matt Forte with the carry for a couple of yards. Rouse made the tackle. Bunch to the right, and they run up the middle with Forte, and the Packer defense is there with Aaron Kampman making the first penetration. So Chicago goes three and out, and they'll punt it to the... Hester's bottom of the screen. Al Harris ready to hit him in the man-to-man. -man. Third down for Orton, who throws the other side. Receiver slip, trying to cut back. That was Brandon Lloyd. The pass is incomplete, and the Bears go three and out for the second consecutive drive. Wind is at the back uh, going right to left and a good first punt from Brad Maynard who's excellent, excellent cold weather kick. This one considerably shorter. Will Blackman missed it, never touched it. It's gonna go and be touched at the two. Did the Bears control it before taking it into the end zone? Bears fans think it was touched. Let's see on the replay. Uh, I didn't think Blackman touched it, but we'll check it out one more time. That'll be the conversation. Does Blackman touch it? You saw the white kick up on the chalk. Have to get a second look at that. It didn't touch his hands. Doesn't touch his feet. No, doesn't look like it changes. No. And then the Bears are trying to down it. Rolling on the field. The ball did not touch the receiving team player. Kicking team player carried the ball into the end zone. Therefore, it is a touch pass. I love he will challenge now, and we'll see exactly what he's going to challenge. Just through the flag, and here's Ron Winter. Chicago has challenged the ruling on the field, but the ball did not touch the receiving team player. Okay, so we'll take a peek at it one more time. Live, it looked 
like it was clean to me and then on the replay I didn't see the trajectory of the ball change if it would have touched Will Blackman's leg this angle it looks like the ball touches the front of his foot and then moves forward from the side angle it doesn't After look like the trajectory do. changed the ruling on the field stands it is a touchback the ball is first to 10 on the 20 yard line Chicago is charged with their first team timeout that was very close originally I thought no chance but that uh, that end zone shot showed it was very very close drive three for the Packers they have two first downs in their first two drives Grant sweeping to his right and going nowhere boy the Bears are really aggressive on defense Nick Roach the second year backer from Northwestern north of here made the tackle throws on the run complete for the first down at the 33 yard line good job by Rodgers to keep it alive the rookie Jordy Nelson his 31st catch of the year yeah this is where Aaron Rodgers really excels outside the pocket he's got 112.7 quarterback rating which is phenomenal you can see right down here when he gets outside the pocket he's looking downfield he looks for the pass option first look at his eyes downfield looking for a receiver then he finds Jordy Nelson doesn't tuck the ball away looking to run looks to complete the pass get the ball to hands of your playmakers Rodgers another first down throw out of the compressed pocket the fullback Coon propels himself to the 45 yard line he uh, laid the lick on Lance Briggs and Kevin Payne but a gain of 13 Coon his third catch on the season yeah nice job by Aaron Rodgers the Bears went into zone defense they dropped everyone deep you had Coon just check down over the middle a lot of teams called his check middle look downfield look downfield it's zone coverage they take a positive play of course Coon makes it a little more positive running over a couple people It's been more passing than running for the Packers out of a pass look they draw it with Grant for just a yard. Deflected a job by Manning and it is intercepted into the waiting arms of Alex Brown his fifth career interception for the D lineman. Alex Brown. You know, normally I don't know exactly how many interceptions he's gotten in his career, but it seems like uh, he's gotten more than most defensive linemen get. Uh, that was a big one for him. Big with Danielle Manning to, to tip the ball for Alex to intercept it. Six plays, 14 yards for Chicago in the first two drives. Orton to Hester, using the speed near the first down of the 38 yard line. Charles Woodson over to make the tackle. Yeah, this is what Devin Hester brings to their offense. You want to get him the ball in space. Here he just runs a little stop route in the middle of the field. You see A.J. Hawk in the coverage. That's not going to work. Devin Hester's just too quick. Going to be tough for Hawk to make that play. You start playing those zone covers, you check the ball down to Hester. He's going to give you a lot of first downs. In this case, second in about a half yard. He's too quick for a real Hawk. Yeah, not just a guy named Hawk. Second and one, a quick count run with Forte, who had a toe injury, curtailed his practice this past week, but he gets the first down at the 37-yard line, the first first down of the game for the Bears. First and 10, Forte, nice job trying to cut back upfield. Forte seeking space to the right, but Roberto Garza got no push on the D line. Brian Pickett, who was in on that last play, my mistake a moment ago, makes the tackle and brings us to the end of the first quarter. The 34, third and eight, Packers bring some pressure. Orton cannot get away. He'll gain a yard, but a good job to chase him down by Jason Hunter at Appalachian State, third year in the league. He forced a fumble on Rex Grossman for a touchdown in the meeting at Lambeau. I don't think in the first half we uh, converted to third down uh, or not too many of them. It seems like it's just been like that for a couple weeks now. So we got to do a better job, uh, A, putting ourselves in manageable third downs, and B, when we get those situations. Rodgers throws complete to driver. Trying to stop on a dime and lose Corey Graham. He got to the 23-yard line in the first down. Not an easy night to be a DB, especially outside the numbers with the footing so poor. 
Rodgers, good strike in the middle for Driver again. Payne makes the tackle at the 40, but it's a first down pickup of a dozen. Yeah, really nice job by Donald Driver. You understand he had Lance Briggs on his hip, kind of bended that back to the inside. An excellent anticipation by Aaron Rodgers. You'll see the throw right there. Get it on the numbers again. I like the accuracy of the throw. When weather like this, you want to put it on the body. Really good job right there by Driver, shielding himself from Lance Briggs. I miscounted by one stripe. It's a gain of 17. Driver has four grabs on the night. Toss Grant. Couldn't get a push from Jason Spitz. The offensive line was pushed back. Tommy Harris leading the charge, a loss of two. Second and 11 for Rodgers. And Ryan Grant gets plastered by Lance Briggs. Still a pickup about six, a third and five coming up. Playing a cat and mouse game with Rodgers. He's got nobody to go to. Now finds Jennings on the sideline. Complete to Greg for a first down at the 45-yard line. Good job by Rodgers to keep the play alive. No question. Uh, you know, quarterbacks this league have to extend the play. The mobility is an option. Here, Rodgers, great protection in the pocket. Looking downfield, he's ready to run right there. He kind of tucked the ball, but then he saw there was nowhere to go. Now he's looking for a lane. Nothing there. Now the eyes come back up downfield. And he finds his receiver. Greg Jennings, well done. Play action. Back to Jennings. Got it. To the 38 yard line. Throwing on third and a couple. Downfield for Jordy Nelson. Incomplete. Great play by Corey Graham again. Fourth down. Packers likely to punt it. Yeah, Corey Graham was in perfect position riding that hip of Jordy Nelson down the field. In fact, boy, look at that. Look yeah. at that right there. Just beautifully done by Corey Graham at the last second, reaching his arm up, seeing the football, tipping it away. Boy, that is textbook corner coverage. Greg Hepinos is a punter. Eighth NFL start. He came in once Nathan Vasher was hurt. Jeremy Kapanos will try to do what Brad Maynard just did. It's a snap to the backup quarterback, Matt Flynn, out of LSU, who runs for a first down at the 30-yard line. Well, the Bears didn't recognize that Flynn was there as the personal protector. They should have called timeout when they saw that. They didn't, and the Packers keep the drive alive. Or the defense has to be aware. Not unless they call a timeout, but you see number 10. Wow, you're not normally going to see a number 10 as your protector up in the middle of that offensive line. Flynn looked downfield to throw the football, took it for the first down with the run. Packers keep this drive alive with a fake punt, so it's the 10th play of the drive that started back inside their own 10. Ryan Grant runs to the right to the 25-yard line. Grant up the middle to the 13. Mike Brown makes the tackle, but it's another first down for Green Bay. Brian Erlacher guessed where the play was going. He lost his discipline of holding his spot in the middle. He guessed he was wrong. It was a dasher up the middle by Ryan Grant. Nine first downs for Green Bay, one for Chicago. Grant hit by Kevin Payne, only gains a yard. At the 13, Grant right, put a foot in the ground and cut it up the field to the seven. Again, this drive started way back at the 10-yard line. It's been very impressive. Rodgers very good in the red zone. Fires. Touchdown. Green Bay Packers. Greg Jennings. His ninth touchdown reception. Danielle Manning's made an impact as a kickoff return man for the Bears over the last month. Touchdown last game against New Orleans. Manning through the middle. Danielle Manning hanging on as Jared Bush finally able to bring him down at the 28-yard line. Seventy-one yards for Manning. They took Devin Hester off kickoff return, put Manning on, and the kid from Abilene Christian's been making magic. 
Well, he just sets the wall right here. He yells go, and he is gone. An excellent job by the wedge of just blowing a big old hole, and Danielle Manning does the rest and carries defenders for about 18 to 20 yards. That's like bull riding, where, where guys are just piling on, and he keeps going. He keeps looking at this. He is not going to be denied. Very impressed with Danielle and how he's uh, just really, you know, kind of elevated the team a little bit. Now everyone is getting up every time he goes back to return the kicks. He's a good athlete, maybe the best athlete on our football team, and uh, just glad to see that he's getting more confidence in himself. Two and a half times the Bears' total yardage for the game on that kick return. Now will they make him pay? Orton up top, complete. Brandon Lloyd catches it at the 13. First down, Bears. Really nice job by Kyle Orton in the pocket. He was looking left, looking left. Then he slid a bit left. We'll take a look at it here. Here's Kyle Orton off the play action fake. Left, 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 not there. Here comes the pressure. Get rid of the football. Nice throw down low. Only Brandon Lloyd can go down and get it. Good job by Lloyd getting his numbers down to the football. Not just reaching down. Get your numbers down. Make the catch. Elbows under the ball. Beautiful job by Brandon Lloyd. Bears in the red zone. They're about an average team in here. Forte with the nose into the pile for a gain of two to the 11. Orton pressured and goes down with Mike Montgomery. Wow, that's breaking news. A defensive lineman not named Campman with a sack for the Packers. And this purely is one of those coverage sacks that we hear so much about. The Packers in a man-to-man -man defense. You'll see right there, everyone locked on man-to-man. -man. Hawk takes Forte in the flat. Now no one open. Orton's got to hold on the football. Here comes the pressure, and Mike Montgomery gets the sack. Campman was the only D lineman who had multiple sacks this year until that one for Montgomery. Third and ten. Olsen the tight end in the slot near side. Orton's throw off the hands of Hester and incomplete. Boy, Hester was in space. It might have had room to take it in. Field goal attempt coming. That clearly is one of those opportunities you have to take advantage of. You got Hester coming underneath. Here he comes underneath Hawk. Oh. He settles in that zone, what? and that is just a just a laser that that or is, is Hester supposed to catch the ball well again he's, he's in tight quarters he's learning on the job to right. be a wide receiver is he supposed to catch take, the ball take a little bit off the throw put it on his okay. numbers not the high throw that's a tough catch with the ball with that much velocity on it 31 yard field goal attempt Robbie Gold outstanding poor weather kicker knocks it through First down play action, big shot, Donald Driver downfield. Did he hold on? No. What a great effort. Perfect throw. Corey Graham beat by a half step. Driver slow to get up. Well, the Packers do try to go for the home run. Boy, what an excellent throw from Aaron Rodgers. Driver just could not hold on to the football. That field is rock hard. <laughs> that hurt. Aaron thought he had one there. From the 42, Ryan Grant. Oh, what a hit by Mike Whoa. Brown. Good evening. Wow. That was an exorcist hit. His entire body spun around on that one. Whoa. Fortunately, he was slipping a little bit with that left leg, but not with the upper oh, body. Yeah. Oh, okay, Mike. Not with the upper body. <laughs> not with the upper body. <laughs> Still think a big man can't sell. Boom. Third and seven. Bears, a lot of them on the defensive line. Now they back out into zone. Rodgers down the middle. Caught for the first down by James Jones. Good job by Rodgers to hang in with the pressure of the game. 18. Yeah, good pass protection. And when the quarterback allows the play to develop 20 yards downfield, you got to give some love to the offensive lineman. You'll see James Jones right here pushes up the field. 
Just comes inside nicely. Look at the catch. Catches the ball in the hands. It's 12 degrees below zero, the wind chill factor. He looked the ball in beautifully and caught it in his hands. You see the depth of this Packer receiving for it. Boy, Packers pass game really good tonight in the cold weather. Rodgers has been excellent. Brian Grant up the middle. Pulled down from behind as he was heading off another first down. Corey Graham made the tackle. Play action, Rodgers working this side of the field. Complete to Torrey Humphrey. Tight end out of Central Michigan in his third year. First down inside the 15, Mike Brown with the stop. And guys, in plays, in yards, in first downs, which are now 13 to two, the Packers are beating up the Bears who have Mike Brown hobbling off the field. Yeah, it, it looks like the Packers are the team with a sense of urgency playing for the playoff spot. Here's the misdirection play. Now all of a sudden you get on the perimeter. Now you got time to look downfield. And what does Aaron Rodgers see? Torrey Humphrey wide open in the flat. Give him the football. He turns it up. Rodgers fabulous down here in the red zone. Screen to Grant. Got one block. Over Stouts. Grant to the end zone. Touchdown. We told you Mike Brown went out. Craig Stouts replaced him. And Grant ran right through him Packers lead by two where will they get some offense from Orton first play this is complete their tight end game is usually strong for them they go to Desmond Clark there second and six Matt Forte runs up the middle just shy of the 35 yard line Orton wrapped up Mike Montgomery gets to him and helps bring him down. So Mike Montgomery and Ryan Pickett combine as Green Bay sacks Orton for the third time tonight. Yeah, this is a Green Bay Packer pass rush that has not been very good this season. Once again, they do a great job with that mush rush, just collapse the pocket right around Kyle Orton. Again, good coverage downfield. The Packers are staying with those man-to-man -man schemes. They're giving small windows, if any window, for Kyle Orton to throw into. Brad Maynard to kick to Will Blackman, so the Bears get zero momentum out of the locker room. Oh, he hit a Packer player. It's a live ball, and the Bears get there. Jason Davis recovers as it bounced up off the foot of Jared Bush, and the Bears desperate for a break. Get another one in special teams. This is a sudden change in the football game. You have to make something happen when there is a sudden change. Blackman calling, get away. This is just a good break for the Chicago Bears. We have gotten a lot of plays from our special team, but we're set up that way. We practice that way. We rely on our special team. The third phase uh, wins football games for you. It's kind of as simple as that. You know, they're, they're not playing very well, if you, if you want to look at it from their end. Uh, the momentum's clearly on our sideline. Our, our sideline has, has a ton of energy, and, and we give them a big shot in the arm with the on the punt. So I mean, there's plays like that that you you know that that factor in the outcome of games. And now will the Bears take a shot? Woodson guards Hester at the top of your screen. First and ten, Chicago. Pump with the shoulders. The throw is incomplete. And it was almost going the other way for a Nick wow. Collins record tying fourth pick six of the year. The Green Bay defense is daring the Bears to throw the football. They are just putting their corners in the press bump and run position. They're bringing the safety here. You see Rouse down in the box. They're saying, go ahead, go ahead, try to beat us. And right now, the Bears can't beat them. Al Harris. Charles Woodson oh. just getting in the face playing man-to-man -man coverage. And of course, Tremont Williams, the third quarter corner, doing a good job as well. One completion over 10 yards all night for the Bears. Forte splits out. Strike by Orton. Complete inside the six to Des Clark. In front of the safety, Aaron Rouse. First down and goal, Chicago. That's the matchup you want to try to exploit. Rouse is not a starting 
caliber safety. You get the matchup. You get Clark on Rouse. He beats him easily. There's two yards of separation right there. You're not going to beat the corners for the Green Bay Packers. You got to work back to the inside. Work to Clark. Work to Olsen. Match against a safety or a linebacker. After the Bears' longest play of the night, first in goal, a chance to get back in the game. The game is to Forte. He has not come close to breaking anything, but he kept the pile moving to the three with Aaron Campman holding on. We haven't heard his name much at all on your call tonight. They haven't, they haven't put the ball in Forte's hands much at all. Not at all. Well, they haven't established anything in the running game, so every time but they run it, swung a pass to him like, like they usually do. Just 10 carries on the night, Tony, for 20 yards, and this from a back who has over 1,100 yards. He had a quiet productivity game against New Orleans. In these situations down by the goal line of late, the Bears have gone with their first round pick, Chris Williams, number 74, as an eligible receiver, lining up as an extra lineman. He's on the near side. Ron Forte, not going anywhere. Brandon Schiller over, and this Green Bay defense that has been, uh, this is a punching bag a couple of the last games. Showing up here inside the five. Yeah, they're just selling out in this goal line situation. Everyone is attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. Now you're almost forced to have to throw the football. I always believe it's best to throw the ball on first down if you're going to throw it at all. Once you get in the manhood game down here, now you got third down. They're actually going backwards. Now there's a little more pressure on the offense. They're going to spread them out and they're going to throw the football here. And you see how bad they've been inside the five. Greg Oates in the tight end with height goes to the top of the screen. Big to Forte. Olsen got it. Chicago Bear touchdown. This is exactly the reason the Chicago Bears drafted Greg Olsen. He's one of those hybrid tight ends that can play inside, play outside. He's matched against the corner, Tremont Williams, and beats him easily for the Bears' touchdown. Second drive of the half of the Packers. They lead by four. Slant, driver, caught it. Game five. Tackle made by Charles Tillman. Out of the snap was Scott Wells. Second and five for Aaron Rodgers. Grant. Gave him a couple of Gunley A hit him. Bears bring pressure. It's picked up. Shot down the field for the tight end, Jermichael Finley, who beat Kevin Payne in coverage and takes it to the 32-yard line. A pickup of 34. Aaron Rodgers in the pocket. Knows he's got one and one on the outside. And look at the arc on this ball. Down the field, he drops it over the top. This is well done. Payne didn't have bad coverage, but the throw was absolutely perfect. But you get the matchup with Finley on the safety Payne, an excellent throw. In Green Bay, they say, hooray. Finley only had three catches with 10 yards all year. Ryan Grant runs into Craig Stelts, and he only gets to the 29 after the contact, a gain of about four. Second and six, Bears bring five. A Rodgers shot for driver incomplete. Donald wanted pass interference on Charles Tillman, not called. It was very close. Charles Tillman may have had the arm around the back as driver cut to the inside on the skinny post. Take a look at it here. 12 steps, break it to the inside. Here comes Tillman. Kind of got that arm wrapped around the back. No call. Five step drop, get the ball out in 2.1 seconds. Ooh, he does kind of grab that arm. Oh, he kind of. Uh, I, he think, does. Uh, I, I, I think that Mr. Driver has a legitimate complaint. Now third down from here, a field goal would be about 45 yards with a swirling wind hurting. Bears brought four. Rodgers throws off the hands of Driver. Fourth down. Let's see if they'll bring out Crosby for the field goal attempt. Yes, they will. Guys who kick in bad weather are usually pretty consistent in these conditions. Crosby, 25 of 29 this year from 46 yards. Out of the hole of Matt Flay. Left, no good. Erlacher got up there and really changed the view and may have even gotten a piece. I'm not sure. Erlacher got way up there, that initial jump, and the Bears will take over in decent field position. The Bears offense 
needs to mount a drive. They've been getting good field position. They've got to sustain some offense. Look at Erlacher come over the top. As Mike said, just create, you know, a little pressure up the middle. May have got a finger on that one, but it really wasn't a solid kick. I don't think he got it. I don't think it so either. Yeah, but he got up in that window yeah. where you want to kick it. Yeah. In the 36, Adrian Peterson runs for a couple of yards. complete shy of midfield first down Chicago what a great route by Greg Olson he's matched against Charles Woodson the Packers are taking an all-pro corner and putting him on the tight end you'll see Olson, Olson come off the ball nice stick to the outside create some separation and a nice throw from Kyle Orton putting it on the body this kid has incredible skills as a receiver when you put an all-pro corner on him that shows respect that they have for him Play action or underneath for Peterson through a right to Charles Woodson. Woodson sixth interception of the year. And going to the Pro Bowl, got a big block from Aaron Rouse and is taken down to the 30-yard line. Just a play a quarterback can't make in this situation. I've heard coaches week in and week talk about seeing the throw you must see the throw see the flight of the ball to your receiver make sure there's no one in the middle Cal Orton didn't see that he's trying to throw the crossing route and Woodson is right in the lane play a little bit more zone uh, this time and uh, on the first pick I thought it was man coverage and uh, Charles was sitting right there in zone coverage so uh, just kind of tricked me on that one for Woodson, his sixth interception on the year, fourth in the league. There are three men with seven. Troy Polamalu, Ed Reed, and Michael Griffin of Tennessee. Rodgers tries to make the pay. Pass caught, sliding down. Great job to grab it by Jordy Nelson in front of Corey Graham. First down. The 18, a run blitz. Grant tackled by Stelts to the 15-yard line. Grant was one step away from taking that all the way. Second and seven, Grant. What a play by Briggs. What a play by Briggs. John Kuhn was there to block him, and Briggs blew him up, got to the ball carrier, and will end the third quarter with a loss of yardage. Third and eight, empty backfield. Pressure comes. Underneath, it's caught by Deshaun Wynn, who stopped a yard shy on the first down by Corey Graham, depending on the mark. They needed to get to the eight. They put it down at the nine. Should kick a field goal here and try to go up seven. But again, an excellent job by Aaron Rodgers. You'll see Rodgers. You see Briggs. You see the blitz on the outside from Anderson. Get the ball out of your hand. It was a blitz where the protection could not pick it up. You have to adjust. The Packers did, but it's still going to be a hair short, I believe. They are a full yard short. What do they have to lose? It's a four-point game. What do they have to lose? A field goal puts you up seven. You would go for it a full yard short? I know. In the situation they're in, what difference does it make? Okay. It's interesting. Fourth and one. Wins got it. Got a first down to the five-yard line. Good job by the left side of the Green Bay line. And win was in instead of Ryan Grant. And the second-year man out of Florida picks it up. You know, in that earlier matchup, the Packers had 200 yards running the football predominantly over the left side out of the I formation with the lead fullback going inside. They went back to what they did well in the last matchup and worked the left side. Darren College, Chad Clifton on that side, clearing the way. Grant's back in for first and goal. Play action. Rodgers has room to the corner for Humphrey. Graham has been everywhere tonight covering the tight end. There you go, Jaws. He's got four rushing touchdowns, but the pressure pushed his offensive tackle, Tony Maul, back into him. And Tommy Harris, a Pro Bowl alternate, made the stop. Aaron Rodgers has mobility. She can run quarterback draws here, but the key was they forgot to block. Wally Agunlier came in quick. Tommy Harris came in quick. They had a little stunt on the inside. It was very effective. 
We talked about Rodgers in the red zone and not making mistakes. He's throwing the ball down there 50 times. Has not been picked off. And one out of every three has been a touchdown. Third and goal. Pressure. Rodgers fires incomplete. Kevin Payne knocked it down. And now the Packers will go for the field. From the 30 yard line, Matt Forte back in the game. Did not play the last couple of series. The rookie out of Tulane running hard for a gain of four yards. Orton looking for the tight end. Desmond Clark could not pull it in as he was hand fighting with Nick Collins. You know, as, as you watch this Bears offense and you see that throw to Desmond Clark just go off his hands. Every ball is contested. Yes. You know, there, there's, you don't see separation where the quarterback has a big winner to throw the ball into. Almost every ball thrown, there's a packer around him. Every throw is contested. Third and six, they'll do it out of the shotgun. Bears down seven. Need to win to stay alive in the playoff chase. Orton made space, got it complete to Clark. First down at the 41 yard line. In front of Tremont Williams. Yeah, that was a good job by Kyle Orton. There was a pressure from the outside, and that's what the quarterback has to do. Allow your offensive tackles to take that pass rush to the outside. You'll see Orton right here. Stays right in that pocket. There's the pressure. Step up. Know where your alternate receivers are. He goes to an alternate receiver for the first down. That's a nice job. Nope, it is a first down. Correct. Yes. Swing to Forte. Got space. First down. Matt Forte into Packer territory at the 44-yard line. Pick up a 15 for the rookie. Again, Forte is an excellent receiver out of the backfield. He is the Bears' leading receiver, and he's a running back. Does a real nice job. Orton does a good job of allowing Cameron to come in on him and then get rid of the football. And Forte in space makes people miss, gets the first down. That was the first catch of the night for Forte. 59 team leading, as you said, on the season. Bears starting to put together a drive here. Orton, play action, tight end, Olsen, right at the line. Looks like another Bears first down in front of Nick Collins. Olsen is just a really tough matchup for the Green Bay Packers. He's been beating Woodson, they're all pro corner. Now you're going to get a match against Nick Collins, they're all pro safety. He's just doing a real good job of getting open. And I love the way he catches the ball with his hands. It's like 15 below, he doesn't body the ball. He reaches out and snags it out of the air, attacks the football, moves the chains. From the 34, again play action with Forte. Orton just gets rid of it as his receiver over here, Desmond Clark was involved with the linebacker Brandon Chiller and they let Aaron Campman come in with pressure. Or Marty Booker. No. Third down. Marty Booker's got to make this that. catch. That's right between well, the eight and the six and you know he could uh, pick on Kyle Orton if you want but you know you got to get no. some help too. <laughs> Booker, the only Pro Bowl receiver the Bears have had in 37 years, 1971. 30-10. First drive the Bears have had tonight that's lasted more than five plays. Can they keep it going? Orton intercepted Nick Collins with the pick. Collins, who took three back this year, is tackled by Roberto Garza. So not even an opportunity to kick the field goal. It's an interception thrown by Orton. If you read Kyle Orton's eyes, he will take you to the football. He stared down the route. Nick Collins read it beautifully. He was reading the eyes of Kyle Orton, took him right to the football. Packers take over their own 29, 936 left. Play pass, Rodgers to driver. Not touched yet. Well, I guess he was the 45. I beg your pardon. Driver is thinking the same thing I did, that Daniel Manning didn't touch him. But it's a first down nonetheless. Gain of 16. Got to like the call by Mike McCarthy. You know, you got to figure the Bears going to load up the line of scrimmage. They do. You're going to get the one-on-one -on -one coverage. Excellent job in the pocket and throw the strike where you're going to get Donald Driver matched against Daniel Manning, and he beats him one-on-one. -on -one. He caught it on his knees, and the Bear receiver dropped it on him. 
six grabs for driver, 63 yards on the night. Brian Grant comes to the left. And out of Notre Dame, the Golden Domer, and fighting Irish country down here in Chicago, gains three yards. Grant's right, great play, Tommy Harris. Third and long coming up. Diving inside of eight minutes in regulation. Well, the key to stopping the run on a consistent basis is penetration. Tommy Harris does a terrific job of exploding into the backfield. Just right between that guard and that center. And he is in the backfield. Almost took the handoff from Aaron Rodgers. Long third down, halfway through the fourth. All seven Bears come underneath. It's deflected. That pressure from Daniel Manning in these nickel situations has been a winner for the Bears here tonight. Bad kick, Kapanos. Hester on the run of the 25. Looking for space. Hester across the 40 and out to the 48-yard line. So decent field position for the Bears at the 7-14 mark. Bears down a touchdown. The rookie Forte would have bounced to the outside, and Matt Forte into the secondary to the 24 yard line. First down, Chicago, a gain of 26. And that's why Matt Forte is valuable, you know, because he, he's got, is it 36% of all their yards this year? Yes, sir. 36%, he's a rookie. They need him, and he Des can't sit out. And Desmond Clark, the tight end, did a great job of sealing to the inside, allowing Matt Forte to get to the outside. Sometimes, you know, you just got to make a play, you know. Sometimes it's just, a run is designed to go in there, you know, they were packing it up tight in the, in the middle, so I just bounced it to the outside and, uh, you know, just kind of jump-started the run again right there. That yeah, was big. That was huge. Uh, you know, we're... Uh, the offensive line did a nice job on that, and, and Matt made a great read and bounced it to the outside. And that, I think that gave us the spark that we were looking for, you know, that we weren't getting. And we weren't doing much on offense. We needed something to happen, and he gave us a great run there. This league gives you 28 yards. Forte comes to the right, got a block to the 15 yard line, spilled there by Nick Collins. Second and two. He must have been taking a nap when we didn't see him before when they put the other backs in. I think. It's great now. I'm sorry, Tony. I think what you'll see right now is Ron Turner put the ball in the hands of Matt Forte and put the hat on the offensive line to win this football game or at least tie it up right here. Heck of a block by Olin Krutz, the center pulling on that play. Forte, third straight time, gets the first down to the 12-yard line. And they're doing it for themselves. They do it for their franchise. I got to tell you, the windshield's been below zero. We've said it all night. This place is packed. These fans have been behind their team that honestly gave them a garbage offensive effort for three quarters. This place will erupt if the Bears score and tie the game. And they're all standing right now, every single one of them. Hester to the top, Lloyd to the bottom. Olsen lines up back there to block for Forte. And the Packers bow their necks on defense, stopped at the 11. Gain of a yard and a half. Packer fans have to be antsy. These are the situations where their defense in the last month has come up empty. Olsen split in the slot with Hester up top, keeping it on the ground for Tay. Their third, about five coming up inside of five minutes left. The Bears may be in four down area right here. You don't know how many times they're going to get good field position. You may want to try to tie this baby up on this drive. Good call, Josh. Hester in motion. Orton throws. Caught. Hester. What a job by Brandon Schiller, who wouldn't let him stretch for the first down. Fourth and about a yard plus. They need to get to the three, and they're going to go. It's probably less than a yard, Mike. But you're right. An excellent tackle by Brandon Schiller, tapping the elusive Devin Hester in space. It's Forte pushing forward. He ran into Ryan Pickett, and I don't know. I oh, got it. I believe he got it. Oh. And check the spot Ooh. here with 329 to go. I don't know. Wow, it's very close. close. I yellow. thought he had it. Look, looking, not looking at the TV replay. I'm looking at the field. I thought he had it. 
There was a good push by the offensive line up front. Boy, and you're right. Ryan Pickett was like a stone wall right there. And you know, Jaws, the ball is deep in his body. It's not yeah. forward. So it's the penetration of the ball. They have to measure. You could challenge a spot via replay. The Bears are only down to one timeout. Oh, did he get it by the nose? Yes! First down, Bears. Wow. <laughs> that was tight. Based on the communication upstairs, I, I didn't find enough information to challenge it at that point in time. I was, I felt, I felt the timeouts were important based on moving forward with the game. You're gonna give it a Matt Forte, and you're gonna put it on that offensive line. That's Chicago Bear football. First and goal for the Bears, down seven. Forte behind the fullback, Davis to the end zone and in touchdown Chicago Bears right up the middle Matt Forte carrying Aaron Rouse into the end zone you know a lot of times when your backs are really up against the wall the best and you come out and that's what's happened to us and uh, at the end, again, we needed big plays and offense for our season to continue. The offense had to, to make a stand, and they did. Gold with a little pooch kick. Tough to field. Blackman waits for it at the 18. Has a seam on the near side. Adrian Peterson sends it to the sideline. Horse collar out of bounds. Give the Packers the ball at the Bears' 40-yard line. Big mistake by a guy who's usually reliable in those situations, Adrian Peterson. And for a minute, it looked like disaster for the Packers as that ball hit the ground. That's a runner was out of bounds. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, late hit out of bounds. Number 29 for the kicking team. 15 yard penalty, first down. Could have either one, late hit or horse Just collar. Terrible penalty. That's a terrible penalty. And where he went out of bounds was uh, farther ahead than I thought it was. And he can take it to the 35 yard line. They are literally in field goal range already for Mason Crosby. 47 the total gain on the kick return and the penalty. The Bears only have one timeout remaining. Rodgers will throw it on first down. Incomplete. Intended for Ruvel Martin. And Rodgers this point in the game the last few weeks he has been trailing and he has thrown interceptions the worst times of his career have come late in the fourth quarter with the lead recently it hasn't worked at all the great shadow that Brett Favre casts over Aaron Rodgers can be dispelled only by winning these games when these opportunities present themselves because even if Favre didn't win 95 by coming back even if it was only in the 20s, he had enough magic that everybody thinks he won it every time they were down, and Rodgers has to do that. From the 35, quick hit, Greg Jennings on the edge. What a play by Corey Graham out of New Hampshire. He's been very good tonight, third and long coming up. And you talk about those numbers, Tony, all seasons, 0 for 0 and 7, and Jaws, as we watch the play by Graham, what has Rodgers not done in these late-game situations this year? I'm sorry, my guy's watching that replay right there, but I think what Rodgers has to do is not force the throw. You know, he's been very good in the red zone, but take what the defense gives you. He's been too aggressive in these situations. That's it, the aggressiveness. Third and eight from here, a field goal would be 51 yards. Bears bring four. Rodgers got it. First down, James Jones. Inside the 25-yard line, the Bears have one timeout, the two-minute warning, and Jones, who's had lingering injuries with his posterior cruciate ligament injury this season, is injured. Well, despite all the shortcomings Aaron Rodgers has had in this situation this season, he really trusted James Jones, James Jones in that situation. Because that play was brought down inbounds, but the receiver, even with the injury, it still would have run down to the two-minute warning. Handoff first down, Ryan Grants to the right. 
no gain. Bears have one timeout left, and they're going to take it here with a buck 54. So you may be looking when all is said and done. If the Packers run the ball, don't go out of bounds. You could be looking at the Bears getting it back, field goal made or missed inside of a half minute left. Oh, yeah, it'll be less yeah. than 30 seconds to get the ball back. When was the first cell phone invented? So it's going to be run, 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 field goal attempt. And again, the Bears have to win this game yes. and then win at Houston on Sunday to get in the playoffs. But they would need still some help. They'd need the Vikings to lose to the Giants on Sunday in Minneapolis. And they would also win a wild card if the Bears go win-win and the Cowboys and Buccaneers lose coming up on Sunday. But all those scenarios only trigger with a Bear victory here tonight. And again, yesterday, the Bears sat back and watched really over the weekend, and they got the Grand Slam. The four teams that they really needed to lose did lose to add a lot of significance to tonight's game. Chicago out of timeouts, Grant. Tripped up inside the 20. From the 19 to 37 yard field goal from here. The attention turns to Mason Crosby. Second year man out of Colorado. We have seen earlier the stat go by. He was the first rookie to lead the NFL in scoring since 85. That was Kevin Butler. Been with the great Bears team of that year. Crosby's missed a 46 yarder tonight, made a 28 yarder. And not the best conditions for a place kicker. Frozen field. Third and five, Grant again stopped by Kevin Payne, and it will run down. Tackled by Kevin Payne. Loss of one. To about 25 six, seconds, and Aaron Rodgers will park right to the hip of Ron Winter and take that time out when the play clock runs down to one. And then the Bears will have about 20 seconds when they get the ball back after the kick by Crosby. And Brian Erlacher on the last field goal attempt by Mason Crosby had good pressure up the middle, almost blocked it. You got to believe that they'll come with that pressure up the middle once again. Brett Good is the holder, Matt Flynn. Going to put it down. Crosby the kick from 38 for the lead for the pack. Blocked. The Bears blocked the kick. Out of bounds. Chicago ball. The Bears defense comes through. Unbelievable. Why is it unbelievable? This is how they <laughs> score. This is how they win. Their defense does everything for them for years and years and years. Alex Brown, who has an interception earlier, gets what could be a season-saving block. Watch the push up the oh, middle. Just tremendous push. Alex Brown, you see him number 96 off the ball. Look at all the hands up in the air. Our season was on the line. You know, it was a timeout, so we had a little time to really, you know, hit the guys one more time and just say, hey, we have to block this kick. And uh, Alex Brown uh, came through like he's come through many times in the five years I've been here. That's what the team needed. Who's going to make the choice, please? Tails. He called Tails. They say Tails never fails. Oh, it hit, hit, hit her like a It is heads. <laughs> it hit Erlacher in the head. What kind of terrible point to us was that? It hit Brian Erlacher in the head. Overtime begins with Danielle Manning back to receive the kickoff of Mason Crosby. And it's Manning from the nine. Fans to their feet as Manning will, tried to hurdle the would-be tackler, but was taken down by Will Blackman, his fellow kick returner, and the Bears will take over with a long field. Kyle Orton's going to have to make a play eventually. You can't keep handing off the map for it, Jay. going to have to make a play. Defensive pass interference with Hester involved. Big overtime play against New Orleans. Here it's over to the tight end. He's pulled down from behind. Horse collar. Bang 15 onto that one. Take him inside the 40-yard line. First down, Chicago. Love the play call by Ron Turner. Quick count of the line of scrimmage. They got Greg Olson in the backfield. The defense doesn't recognize it quick enough. Here it is. Play action fake. Olson quickly out in the flat. Does a great job of turning it up. He's matched against Aaron Rouse once again. A safety. Five, illegal horse collar tackle. Defense. 
15 yard penalty and a first down. A safety on Olsen. Good matchup for that tight end. Marking the spot of the flag, it's going to take it to the 35 yard line. From here, a field goal is 52. We're getting close to Robbie Gold's field goal range. One snap into overtime. Forte ran it well on the last drive to set up the Bears' touchdown to tie the game. Forte to the right. The rookie gains five yards to the 30-yard line. Let me give you just briefly the tie scenarios. A tie keeps Green Bay, uh, Chicago rather, alive for the division because they'd be a half game back with still a game to go both ways. Because of Philadelphia's tie, you could end up with these teams tied at 9-6-1 and one for that last spot. And Philadelphia lost here in Chicago in a Sunday night game in a head-to-head. -head. So there are tiebreaker possibilities. But the Bears are thinking about the win here. Good job off the edge to fire in by Aaron Rouse, who had the horse collar flag two plays ago. Third down. Well, Aaron up. Rouse is a safety, and he's lined up right in the box. You have Olsen in the backfield. He whiffs on him, and Rouse makes a terrific play. Olsen's got to be aware. When he's in that backfield in that stance, he's got to see that safety up near the line of scrimmage, have his head in a swivel, and make that block. From here, a field goal is 51 or 52 yards. Robbie Gold has never made a 50-yard field goal. Third and nine. Pressure from the Packers picked up. Forte's got it. Hawk slipped. Forte first down at the 20-yard line. A.J. Hawk slipped, and Forte took it to the 20. This is what, Jaws, you talked about before. The great failing of Green Bay's defense late in games recently. This is exactly what is going on again. The horrifying deja vu circumstance for Green Bay. And this was a one receiver route. This ball was going to yeah, Matt Forte yeah. out of the backfield. <laughs> Both outside receivers slanted in, created a rub element. That was going to Forte no matter what happened. Forte slips. Oh, boy. He was lucky to get there close enough to get his hands on it. Lovey wow. Smith looks down. <laughs> Should I go for the field goal Ooh, now? Wow. Woo. That was close to disaster. When a back slips like this, a lot of times you'll see the ball laying on oh. the ground. I mean, Kyle Orton basically put that ball on his shoulder pads. Forte did a great job of just holding on to the football. At 22, Hester on a reverse action, and they hand it up the middle of Forte. Takes it just to the 20, and here comes Gold on third down. In case there's a bad snap, you can throw it away. Robbie Gold kicked a 35-yard field goal against the Saints in overtime 11 nights ago. He has a chance to kick a game winner, keep the season alive field goal for the Bears. How much have the Bears been outplayed for most of this game? About all of it. And now they're they in position a chance to, win. to win it. Fans chanting Robbie, Robbie for the kicker. The Packers have two timeouts. We'll see if they take one. Patrick Manley snaps it. Brad Maynard will hold it. McCarthy timeout. Hold it. Well, Maynard is going to take a timeout as well. It'll be Green Bay's timeout. This Robbie Gold has been magnificent yeah. in these situations. In this stadium where the wind is swirling, it's cold. This is a tough kick, yeah. but he's used to making them here. Guess this is what happens if you're the Packers and you've lost four in a row. And you find yourself with no reason to lose this game because you have dominated the game. And you get your field goal blocked, and now on an overtime circumstance, if you were to lose this, to lose your fifth game in a row to your arch rival, who you could have knocked out of the playoffs on a combination of just terrible luck and crazy special team plays the entire evening. Wow. Football's a game of inches, they say. How about just tonight? At the a fourth nose down of the football. Play. Yep, for the spot, for the first down. And the big hand of Alex Brown getting the 38-yard field goal attempt of Mason Crosby blocked to keep the game alive. The coin toss off the head of Erlacher. <laughs> and now another 38-yard field goal attempt. Manali, Maynard, and Gold. To tie the division and keep the Bears alive. The Chicago Bears win in overtime. And the season is still alive. Really proud of uh, the job our football team did tonight. Uh, at halftime, understand why we were getting we were getting booed. We hadn't 
and really showed up at all. But you have to play uh, two halves. Second half, uh, the team really, uh, you know, really came through. We weren't playing good. Uh, we weren't running the ball. We weren't throwing the ball. Uh, just weren't playing well at all. So, uh, you know, we just said, you know, this is our season. It's coming down to this, and if we don't do nothing, we're done. So, uh, didn't do, you know, didn't do it pretty, but uh, you know, got the win. Had a lot of opportunities. Um, you know, they made key, they made some key plays, particularly on special teams that factored in the outcome. You know, it's you come down here, you have obstacles you run into every game, and 